YouTube? Watcha? Watch the dragons are now. So the subject is cooking. And the season is Christmas. Failure to comply. Hungry. Loss of life. So here we go on. Today we are do sorrel, braised, beef short ribs. Yeah. And we are going to go, 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 spice it up. Spice it up. You see me? Nice it up. So watch us so we are accompanying with that we are going to do some some garlic sausage um what was that again some garlic sausage asparagus. some garlic sausage yeah asparagus, asparagus. yeah you're right yeah, yes cleany man Brooklyn. so yeah we are do some garlic sausage asparagus we are do some quinoa healthy christmas and we are do some some in Nigeria, them call it Zobo. South America say the hibiscus flower. Jamaica, we say Saril. And what Anansi say, it's so real. It's so real. Say, so, yeah, man, Saril braised short ribs today. I'm going to tell you, so I run me have me out. Fuck. Come in, I go in the kitchen. That me like here, come. They are night here, you are invite here. Yeah. So guys, we're gonna say the hustlers prayer or the chef's prayer. You hear me? So ready. The chef's prayer. Clasp your hands. If this food makes me or breaks me, I hope it makes me a better man serving this dish. God will understand. Hey guys, so here we have it. Beef short ribs, six cuts. All right. So the first thing you want to do is to inspect your meat. Make sure there's nothing funny going on. Yeah. Bam. The second thing we're gonna clean the membrane, and then we're gonna remove some of the skin. All right. All right. We're gonna start cleaning our meat. So you grab one, and then you just. See that? Then you, you work your knife underneath that. Right? You want to get up all that membrane. Once you get it up, it's full. See that? Cut underneath, pull that membrane back. Pull that membrane, pull it, that's the tough part, don't want that on, yeah, get it all off, don't, don't cut into the meat, try not to cut into the meat, so you make an, it's like I'm doing surgery, I'm making an incision. Then I'm gonna rip. Ah. Oh! And you take a sip of your Jerry and Nephew and sorry. Okay guys, so we just finished washing all of this. Gonna pot dry them a little more. Alright, that should be good. So okay, so my dry rub today is consists of roasted peppers and garlic, some Himalayan salt, some chicken and, and um and beef seasoning, some thyme. Alright, here we got our black pepper corn. Along with that, the star of the day, we got our, 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 our Jamaican Hellfire Marinade. Or you can say Hellfire Hot Sauce. So we're going to use that to kick things up a bit. Alright. And here we got some extra virgin olive oil to splash. Quarter cup of brown sugar. One, one yellow onion. Two garlic. 
and then those are gonna be break down to go inside but right now we're gonna mix our dry rub we'll be mixing our dry rub together so as stated Himalayan chicken and beef and roasted garlic and peppers and we're just gonna combine that with the thyme all right Good. All right. Would you look at that? Huh? Look at that. All righty. All right. So first off, we're gonna go in with our olive oil. All right. Then we're gonna go. want to get this all over it you're gonna see just watch till the end watch till the end Looks good. Next off, peppercorn. I'm gonna flip them again. Okay, so we're gonna rub it, rub it in. Remember, always rub in your meat. Okie dokie. Yes. Rub. Rub. Watch, watch another trick I'm gonna show you. Pause. Okay, so this is another trick I want to show you guys. So it's called scoring. And we score even. We even score. So you're going to take your paring knife. You don't need a big knife. Just a paring knife. And you're going to lightly score the meat. All right. It's just you being creative. And watch me now. So I'm gonna re-rub this in. And lightly dust, just lightly dust it. You're in control, always remember that. Alright. Always remember that. So that's good for right now. So the next step is we're gonna transfer it to the pan. We're gonna sear both sides. So we're gonna add our garlic and onions in the pan. Let that flavor come out with the with the beef. Then we're gonna transfer it to a braising pan which we're gonna deglaze that pan right now and we're gonna braise there for about three hours at 150 um, degrees. So here we have our pan, we're gonna heat her up just about seven. And we're gonna just grease it with some olive oil, you know? We're gonna try to evenly distribute that. I'm just gonna bring that to a nice hot pan and then we're gonna add our meats to it. Okay. 
everybody looking hot okay so in we're gonna go bones up That's for a reason. Okay, so this is gonna be braised on each side for about 10, 15 minutes. We want them to get, sorry. That, that was close to 10 minutes, about seven. I gave them about seven minutes, and then I'm, I'm turning them. Got a little char. On that one over there, not bad. Yeah, got a little char here and there. We have it. We're just gonna switch that for this. That one. Looks good. That looks good. We're gonna switch that one out for this. Remember, guys. Bam. Oh yeah. So here we have our sorrel and we're going to deglaze the pan. We're just going to deglaze the pan like that. Alright. So I'm adding all that stock back to the beef. Then we're moving over here. We're gonna add some more seasoning. Like we're gonna add our, our sorrel to braise the meat. And we're gonna mix in some browning into, into the sorrel so it gets a nice little look. And first off, we're adding, this is three cups of sorrel, nicely made, no rum. So here we have it. Sorrel, Zobo, South American's hibiscus flower, Jamaican's sorrel, Nigeria, Zobo. Let's go. Sugar in. We're going to mix all that in. Hellfire in. Yeah. Some more of the seasoning in. God? Good. God is good. Alright, first off, we're gonna grab our whisk. We're just gonna swirl that around. Should have got me a bigger bowl, but it's fine. I can make it work. Don't worry. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Missed, missing one thing now. Just a little browning.
Grace, caramel, cooking caramel. Just gonna swirl that in. We don't need a lot in it because we're, we're mostly aiming for the sorrel look. That dark, deep purple look is what we're aiming for. We don't really need a lot of brown. Man. This is not brown stew chicken or one of them. Yeah? So watch now. We're gonna go in with that. And we're just gonna pour that right over the meat. Yeah? Make sure you get it evenly distributed along the meat. Good. About this coming over in your oven, it won't. Forget about that. You're braising. It's not like you're boiling stew. So you cover that. Let's go. Come down here. Are back after three, three, three hours. So our beef, is, mm, it's fully braised. So we're just gonna make a sauce. We're gonna make a reduction. It's gonna squeeze out all this garlic into that because I, I already strained it off. So we're just gonna add all that stuff to it. Yeah. Yeah, man. We're gonna squeeze out all the, the garlic and stuff into that I'm gonna puree it so while that that's heating up just gonna squeeze that out and we don't need these anymore so we can throw them out yeah so in with our onions and stuff, these can find the garbage bin. You dig? So here we have it, our sorrel braised beef short ribs. We're just gonna make a reduction. So we're gonna make a reduction. We're gonna add some more sorrel to that to get the color. We're gonna get the color right, okay? See you back in 10 minutes. All right, bam. So we're reducing the braised liquid. We're gonna thicken, thicken it, season it, make sure it's right. And then we're gonna coat the ribs in it. Make sense? Stick around. So about that onion and garlic that I added, I'm gonna puree it now, right? So we're gonna go in. We're gonna lower the flame. So we don't want it to be crowded and bubbling all that over. It's gonna confuse the blender. So it's gonna wait till that reduces. It's reducing a little bit more. And you can see I turned on the flame. So it will reduce, it will stop. It's gonna tilt the pot. And then we blend. Good. So that's fully pureed. And now Now, we're gonna add our thickening agents, a little secret ingredient. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna whisk that in. All right, we're gonna whisk that in. You can see she's thickening up. Thickening up, thickening up, thickening up.
And we're gonna dip and glaze the Christmas sorrel braised ribs. Short ribs. So there you have it. You saw it here first. So Yep. Turn that over. Turn that over. Turn that over. Bone is just falling off, and so you know you have you are good braised ribs. The bones falling off. Man, look at that. Right back in. Yeah, we, we, we could have poured it over. We could have poured it over it, but I'd rather to do it like this. Let's do it ought to be. But yeah, if you're doing it, you can pour it over it. No, no big deal, no problem. Everything Gucci. There you go. There you have it. All right. So now we're gonna stick back that in the oven for another 10 minutes and broil. Got it? Okay. Let's get that out the way. Here we go. 